to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And in today's video, I'm going to be making something quite different than what I would usually make, but this is honestly one of my favorite things to eat. I'm going to be showing you a recipe on how I make this delicious cold spinach dip, perfectly eaten with pumpernickel bread or even like some nacho chips. It is so good. Now I got the recipe from my sister's boyfriend's mother. So hi Lucy, thank you so much for the recipe. She would make this delicious recipe and when Julia's boyfriend would bring it over, we would literally devour it within like minutes. It was just so good. So just to not bother her all the time to keep making this for us, we decided to ask her for the recipe and she kindly shared it with us and it is the best spinach dip I've ever had. Once you make this and you realize how easy it is to make and how delicious it is, you'll never waste your time or money buying those pre-packaged spinach dips ever again. This one is so good, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful cold spinach dip perfect for summertime. First, to make the spinach dip, what we need to do is cook the spinach. I like to use baby spinach and I use about two containers or two baggies of this baby spinach. This is about 300 or so grams or 11 ounces times two. So basically I'm using about 600 grams of spinach. Now once I cook this down, this will literally look like nothing, but it is two huge containers of spinach. So I'm going to show you guys just me quickly cooking this down. If you'd like, you can add a little bit of water. That way the spinach doesn't burn on the bottom, but in only a few minutes, this should be fully cooked. I'm just going to place a lid on top of this spinach and let it do its thing for a couple minutes. So as you can see, all that spinach turned into this little tiny amount of spinach. Now let's drain this off. Speed the process of cooling the spinach down. You can run this over some cold water. So we're just going to squeeze this out and drain all of the water out of the spinach. That's really important. So I just take my hands and I squeeze all the water out of the spinach dip or just strain the water out. And I also like to just finely cut it up with a knife or with scissors just to make the spinach into more bite-sized pieces so that you don't really have long strings of spinach in the dip. It's just easier to dip that way. Okay, so now that we have the spinach cooled off and cooked down, do you see how little those two huge containers were? And now it is time to actually start making this dip. So I'm using just a stand mixer. You can even probably do this in a food processor or even by hand if you'd really like to. I like to use my stand mixer with the paddle attachment. So first things first, let's cream together the sour cream, cream cheese, and mayo. So what I'm using are two containers of cream cheese. These are 250 grams each, so 500 grams of cream cheese right into the mixer. Julia's boyfriend's mom Lucy actually likes to use western cream cheese. She even specified. I think it's because it is just a little bit less tangy than any other brand and it is just a little bit more fluffy and smooth so it is a really nice cream cheese to use in this mixture. So now that we have our cream cheese in, we are adding the sour cream. This is 500 milliliters of 14% sour cream. And then to that I'm also going to be adding three quarters of a cup of mayo. So now that I have the creamy aspect of this spinach dip in this mixer with the paddle attachment, I'm just going to whip that to let all the creamy ingredients combine nicely. Okay, so that mixture looks nice and creamy. We can now add the onions and garlic. I have four cloves of garlic. I would say they're medium to large cloves of garlic that I'm going to either finely mince or just squeeze with this garlic press. And I also have a bunch of green onions. Usually in a bunch, you'll get about six or seven green onions. So I'm just going to chop up the green onions and add them to that mixture as well as the minced garlic. So now that we have almost all of the ingredients in there, this is the secret ingredient. It is a vegetable soup mix. I actually like this Knorr brand. It's really good. I add the entire packet. So one packet of vegetable soup mix right into the mixture. And this vegetable soup mix is nice and salty, so we do not have to add any salt or seasonings to the mixture. And now let's give this a whip to incorporate as well. So you might need to scrape down the sides of the bowl here, because we want to make sure that everything is evenly combined and distributed. And finally, our spinach, that huge spinach turned into this little baby mixture. So we're pouring that right in and we're just whipping to combine the spinach. Okay, so I'm going to take this off of the stand mixer and I'm going to add this to this bowl and then I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate this spinach dip. 
I would say that it is best made at least three to four hours before you serve this. That way all of the flavors can really intensify, the garlic will really mingle, all of the nice spices will really be fortified in this dip. So give it about three to four hours before you serve this, even best overnight. And you could even keep this in the fridge for up to four to five days, I would say. Not that this will last that long, but it is so delicious, guys. So I'll be right back to show you how I serve this and then we're gonna try it. Take this pumpernickel loaf over here and I have the bowl that I wanna place inside. So I'm just cutting around it so that it fits the exact width of the bowl here. So what we are doing is basically creating like a little bread bowl for this to go inside, but rather than place the dip in the actual bread, just so that it doesn't get soggy, I like to place it in a bowl as well. So let's scoop out this bread. And then what you can do is cut up this bread over here into little cubes or bite-sized pieces. That way you can use this as a vehicle for the dip. Okay, so we're taking that delicious spinach dip and we're just plating it right now. So all that's left to do is actually taste this. I'm so excited. I may have already snuck a little bite here and there. <laughs> so good. Wow, this is absolutely delicious. It's so creamy and just the flavors are perfect. It is perfectly seasoned thanks to that little added packet of vegetable soup mix. You can really taste the garlic. The spinach is perfect. Since we cut that up, you don't get like long strings of it. It's just absolutely delicious. So I just want to thank once again, Lucy for the recipe. I love this spinach dip and I'm so excited that I finally get to share this recipe with all of you guys. I know that it will be a hit at any family function or just to make any diet of the week. If you like this recipe, please check out my blog post on thedolcelisa.com. So I'm going to go ahead and eat some more of this off camera, but for now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumb Thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, perfect. <laughs> the fat content is 14%. <laughs> no diet here. We ain't on a diet. <laughs>